starting at 25th is Fallout 4. Bethesda's post-apocalyptic RPG opens our list. Fallout 4 is the last story-driven Fallout game released before Fallout 76, which wasn't up to most of the fan standards. Fallout 4 is massive. It features multiple branching paths for your character as they explore this irradiated wasteland. To add spice to your journey, the mods are always a welcome treat. 24th is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. From Software's previous game before Elden Ring, Sekiro was a major leap from its older Souls titles. Unlike other Souls-like games, it had no weapon variation, no character customization, and no multiplayer. It was a pure, single-player adventure, putting us against terrifying enemies in a fictional and mystical Sengoku-era Japan. Your blade is your only weapon. Use it well. 23rd in the rankings is Horizon Zero Dawn. Guerrilla Games' science fiction open world was groundbreaking on the PlayStation 4. It signaled the dawn of cinematic titles on the consoles. Zero Dawn's gorgeous post-apocalyptic world is filled with mechanical beasts and lush valleys. Unfortunately for Forbidden West, it didn't make it to the list due to a lack of critic scores. At 22nd, we have Odin Sphere Left Tracer. Vanillaware doesn't pump out games that much, but when they do, they're instant classics. Despite 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim receiving impressive reviews, it unfortunately didn't make it to the cut. Lithoseer was one of their older titles that was given the remake treatment for the PlayStation 4. Originally from the Vita, this was made even better by polishing its classic two-dimensional gameplay, making it accessible to new fans. Coming in at 21st is Dark Souls 3 the third and major entry of the acclaimed Souls trilogy. From Software's Dark Souls 3 is a culmination of all things that made the Souls experience unforgettable. Travel to undead villages, snow-capped mountains, and castles from a bygone kingdom. Take down memorable bosses along the way, and always remember to get good. 20th in the rankings is Marvel Spider-Man. Spider-Man fans have been eating good these past few years. This was Sucker Punch's major attempt at their own take on everybody's friendly neighborhood superhero. Web-slinging around New York was satisfying, and its story was surprisingly emotional. To get the full experience, we also recommend playing the standalone expansion Miles Morales. At number 19th, we have Arkham Knight. Rocksteady may be busy with their new Suicide Squad game, but everyone knows they successfully concluded their Arkham Trilogy with a bang. The addition of the Batmobile makes Batman the most dangerous man in Gotham. It's the best-looking Batman game to date, and it's by far the most ambitious. At 18th, we have Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition. The definitive Diablo 3 experience. The game has come a long way since its terrible launch problems. Pick from a wide array of classes and witness Diablo's story at its peak. Aside from improved visuals, the game also packs the Reaper of Souls DLC. Our 17th spot is taken by what remains of Edith Finch. An emotional roller coaster adventure game from Giant Sparrow, Edith Finch's first person perspective showcased the many mysteries surrounding the Finch family. It goes from surreal to downright depressing in just a few minutes. It's not for the faint of heart, but anyone who's willing to be vulnerable is ready to play this game. 16th on the list is Monster Hunter World. Capcom's best-selling franchise, World was a huge step for the future of Monster Hunter. It felt modern, and it continued to fix most of the issues that plagued the previous titles. Despite its intimidating difficulty, it was a first for many would-be hunters. Its massive expansion, Iceborne, added more content to the mix. 15th is Shadow of the Colossus. Explore a bizarre world where strange colossi control each region. One of PlayStation 2's masterpieces, Shadow of the Colossus was a masterclass in game design. It's a mix of genres combined into one epic adventure. This remaster from Bluepoint Studios does the impossible by elevating the game's design, from impressive lighting, HD graphics, and smooth performance. At 14th place is Overwatch. Despite failing to keep their player base, Blizzard was among the pioneers of the hero shooter genre. Overwatch was a massive success when it was first released. It was fun, unpredictable, and it grew a massive community of passionate gamers and artists. Although it's a shell of what it was before, we're still looking forward to what they're cooking up with its sequel. 13th in the rankings is Dreams. 
Media Molecule Simulator is a must-buy for creatives. Dreams is more than just a tech demo for virtual reality. You can play without one. Its community-driven projects are insanely imaginative, from realistic environments, parodies of games, works of art, and even a fully functioning game. These are a small fraction of Dreams' long list of user-generated content. Before we forget, be sure to visit our website at whattoplay.com to check out the latest upcoming titles. Link in the description box below. 12th place is Bloodborne, the third FromSoft game on this list. This was Miyazaki and his team's attempt at a pure Lovecraftian Souls game, and it worked. Combining gothic elements and the horrors of the unknown, Bloodborne takes both concepts and puts players in a world torn with madness and fear. Its gameplay is as visceral as its themes, making it their strongest game since Elden Ring. The 11th entry is Resident Evil 2. Capcom's staple horror series will never die. Pretty ironic for a game about the undead. This is a remake of the classic Resident Evil 2. Not only is it rebuilt from the ground up using their RE engine, it also presents a new perspective from Claire and Leon's journey as they escape from Raccoon City. Tenth on the list is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. CD Projekt Red's Witcher games is what The Lord of the Rings could have been in terms of their video game IPs. It was a record-breaking success. Geralt of Rivia's final journey is an open-world medieval quest where you meet fearsome foes from vampires, dragons, and evil sorceresses. At ninth, we have Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. Larian Studios' award-winning title. This sequel not only improves on its predecessor, it brought on the spirit of pen and paper RPGs to Divinity Game World. Divinity Original Sin 2 is an outstanding piece of emergent gameplay. Each interaction gives you more room for experimentation and other crazy ideas. Coming in at 8th is Journey. A one-of-a-kind game that touched the hearts of many in 2012, Journey was that game company's Hail Mary, a small indie game that toppled even the biggest AAA titles in the market. Travel with a companion and glide your way through this uncharted world. It's a poignant and gorgeous journey through sun-soaked dunes. Sneaking into 7th place is Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Hideo Kojima's final Metal Gear game. It was the subject of many controversies when it came out, and to this day, it still stands proud as the best gameplay in a Metal Gear game. The emergent open-world gameplay and the meticulous amount of detail Kojima puts into its story is impressive, but its unfortunate amount of cut content leaves fans hanging to this day. Sixth in the ranking is Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. The final chapter of Nathan Drake's spelunking life, A Thief's End was a major player in the PlayStation 4's list of exclusives. It was a system seller alongside great titles like God of War and Zero Dawn. The linear gameplay makes room for detailed visuals and blockbuster-like set pieces, making this the most cinematic game from Sony's library of exclusives. Fifth place is The Last of Us Remastered. Naughty Dog's Other Game. This remastered version of the PlayStation 3 hit doesn't really bring anything new to the title. Still, it's one of the greatest games ever made with its emotional storytelling and fantastic characters that we've grown to love and hate in its post-apocalyptic world. The Last of Us 2 received a decent critic score, but this original fared better. Ranked fourth is God of War. Sony Santa Monica's epic single-player franchise knows no bounds. It was recently ported to the PC, ultimately giving players the chance to play Kratos' journey in Odin's realm. God of War humanized everyone's favorite demigod, and this soft reboot adds depth to the brainless hacking and slashing of its predecessors. Its sequel, Ragnarok, is nearing its release. Coming in at third place is Grand Theft Auto V. Rockstar's open-world action game is forever. GTA V competes with Minecraft and Skyrim in the fight for the most console ports ever. From the PS3 up to the PS5, this fifth major installment of the GTA series retains its signature gameplay elements, but with a more detailed open world this time around. Up at second is Persona 5 Royal. The definitive way to experience the Phantom Thieves' journey, Royal is an enhanced version of the Persona 5 experience, with new characters, soundtracks, and ending. Not only that, numerous quality-of-life improvements make the game accessible to new fans as well. 
With these major additions, there's no better way to play P5. And the best PS4 game, according to critics, is Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar's award-winning Western open-world game, Arthur Morgan's story made grown men cry. If not, then its staggering open world consumed them with hours and hours of horse riding and bounty hunting. It's a major achievement in terms of technology and story, and it might just be the pinnacle of Rockstar's career.